to my fitness channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It's gonna be another more in-depth meal prep. I've done meal preps pretty much in every single video recently because that's like all I do these days. The last time I did a video like this, just straight up all meal preps, you guys really seem to enjoy it. And I'm making some new recipes today, so it's perfect timing. So yeah, I'm gonna be cooking for a little while. I have two meals to make. We're gonna do a taco bowl, kind of similar to like a chicken bowl that I normally make, but instead of chicken, we're gonna do ground beef. And then a chicken, what was I gonna do, broccoli? Oh no, chicken, green beans, and a mashed potato, but I'm gonna try and make a healthy mashed potato because normally I use like a lot of butter and milk, but I'm gonna try and make it a different type of way. So look forward to that. Since I'm gonna be cooking for a little while, I need something to just satisfy me while I'm cooking. So I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Built Bar. So I actually always recommend to everyone who asks me about Built Bar to get the mix box first if you've never tried them before, just that way you can test out all the different flavors. I love the double chocolate so much. And then I also really like the fruity ones, like the raspberry, cherry, coconut. They're all delicious. Every Every single Bilt Bar is amazing. The quality is always great. I was just very pleasantly surprised when I opened up my mail because I wasn't expecting either of these. There was two packages from Bilt Bar. The first one was the Bilt Bar Puffs. It's like you're getting your protein in, but you're eating a chocolate covered marshmallow. So good, and I really like the pumpkin flavor. The real showstopper today, you guys, I got a new box of the coconut brownie chunk. These are more limited edition flavors, but you guys need to follow Bilt Bar on Instagram um, to keep up with the new limited edition flavors because they are always so good. And coconut brownie chunk is like everybody's favorite. It's just the best bar ever. If you are lifting weights, you're trying to get your protein in, I couldn't recommend these enough. 150 calories, 15 grams of protein, seven grams of sugar, seven grams net carbs. So they have really good macros, kind of like a chocolatey coating on the outside. And this one specifically has little brownie bites in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just bit my lip, ow. These are so delicious. So I'm gonna have this before. I get to cooking because I'm probably gonna be in the kitchen for a little bit. But if you guys are interested in trying out Bilt Bars, you totally should, you will not be disappointed. I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can use that link and it'll apply a discount to your purchase, which who doesn't love a good discount? So click the link in the description box. Go check out Bilt Bar. Like I said, the coconut brownie chunk is incredible, but if that doesn't sound like something you would like, totally get the mix box, try it out, see what flavors you like the best, and then you can make custom boxes from there on out. Thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna enjoy my bar and then get to cooking. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky when you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't want to be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't want to be shy. I will let my guard down. I want to laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper. Kiss a little heart. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now
be shy. All right, guys, I've been hard at work on the first meal, so I showed you I made some rice. I like jasmine rice the best, so that's pretty much all done. I would say it has like another couple minutes and then I can turn off the heat and the rice will be good. I made a salsa. I just have to add some green onion and the juice of like, uh, I'll probably do two limes. So the juice of two limes and green onion, and this is just red onion, a whole jalapeno, and then like one and a half tomatoes literally the best salsa ever i might add like a little bit of salt and pepper to it but you really don't even need much because it's just so good on its own and i'm not even much of like a fresh salsa person like that but this is delicious the other ingredients you're gonna need for this let's see i have some taco seasoning black beans uh, green diced chilies some fire roasted corn what else am I gonna add? I might add like jalapeno slices to the meat. So I have the ground beef right here. Try and get as lean as possible. Um, I'm just gonna season it mostly with just the taco seasoning. I'll add these into it. And then, oh yeah, I sauteed um, a whole onion and a whole green pepper. So that's all set. I'll add this back into the meat once it starts to cook up. It's like a basic meal, but there is a lot of components to it so i just kind of wanted to get a lot of the prep work out of the way now mostly the only thing that we have left to do is just make the ground beef so let's get to it i like to just put my ground beef plain in the pan and then season it in the pan just because i find when i mix it in a bowl it doesn't mix well enough so that's what i'm gonna do and we're almost done with this meal i think at least the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect Here is the final lineup of everything. We have black beans. Those are just my preference. You could use whatever kind of beans you like, or if you don't like them, sub it out for something else. Fire roasted corn, the salsa, I added the green onion and lime juice to it. And then we have rice, which I totally meant to add cilantro to the rice, but I just don't feel like chopping it up right now, to be honest. So we're just gonna do the plain rice, it's fine. And then I have the ground beef right here, which I added the green chilies into, the yellow onion, and a green bell pepper. So everything is all set, smells so incredible so i'm gonna assemble everything right now i'm gonna make a lot of this one i don't weigh anything anymore i did for a couple weeks but now that i know what the weights look like i don't need to do everything every single time if you know what i mean so yeah let's get to assembling everything Hey, till the sun goes up, yeah, for a little moment, just hold me 
right, and a little while later, meal number one is all prepped and ready to go. This is one of my favorite versions of a meal prep because there's just so much in the meal. It's really hard to get tired of something when it's not a super basic meal. Like I just love how there's the salsa, the beans, the corn, the main meal, like everything is just so good and I really look forward to eating this every day and it doesn't get old on like day three or four, which I love. So I added some jalapenos on top just to add a little extra spice and make it easier day to day for me to not have to grab some from the jar every time. But every time I have this meal, I heat it up. A lot of people ask if I heat up the salsa. Yes, I do. I don't really mind it that much at all, but if you do, you can just scoop it out, put it in a little container, or like put it in the bowl that you're gonna eat it in, and then heat up everything else and add it with the salsa after. If you are that particular about your salsa being warm, do that. I honestly really don't care. You could add cheese to this if you are wanting that, if it's macro friendly for you. And then the only other thing that I'm gonna do every day when I have this is take a scoop of Greek yogurt, add it to the middle, mix it all around, tastes just like sour cream. It is so good. So yeah, there is meal number one done. I think I'm gonna marinate the chicken right now for meal number two and then head off to the gym. And then when I get back, we will finish meal prepping and make the final meal. These things take a long time, but it's totally worth it in the end because after this, I won't have to cook for a good amount of days, which makes me really happy. Look at this. Every single time I record, you guys know, but um, if you would add anything different or switch anything up in this recipe, let me know because I've been making this one normally with chicken for a consistent amount of weeks now. So if you have anything you would suggest to kind of switch things up a little bit for my next run, please let me know. But seriously, this is one of my all time favorite meal preps. I don't really see many people making meal preps like this. Normally it's just really basic things, but this excites me and this makes me like want to eat healthy every day and want to gravitate towards these rather than I know I used to have a really bad habit of meal prepping and then leaving it all in the fridge and not eating it with these I will eat this and be happy and content So I just finished adding everything to the chicken. I cut up a whole full pack so there is a ton in here and I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge while I go to the gym for a few hours. Final product, I added kind of a lot. The lineup is a little bit intense for the seasonings just cause I was just having fun with it. I like to experiment with my chicken because it always ends up tasting fine. I feel like this one's gonna be pretty good. It's like a garlic honey sriracha moment. So we'll see. Um, I used this sriracha. I always add some of this onto my chicken, this marinade, because it's so good. It just makes the chicken taste amazing. As for seasonings, I used onion powder, ton of garlic powder, ton of paprika. You guys know this is my new favorite seasoning from Goya. And then some black pepper. And lastly, I drizzled on some honey and I added a ton of minced garlic. So that's everything for the chicken. Just gonna put the lid on this, pop it in the fridge, 
and head off to the gym pretty soon. You guys, I'm so excited because I'm trying out this Oxy Shred in Cosmic Blast. It's kind of like a strawberry. It looks like it's gonna be like a strawberry Starburst kind of flavor. Um, I actually tried out the other day a non-stim version of Oxy Shred in Apple Teeny, and it was so good. It's gonna take two hands to open because there's definitely a protective seal under here, but I'm gonna add it into my little cup and I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know what I think. If you guys have never seen Oxyfred before, this is from EHP. And I have just heard such good things. Literally so many of the girls that I follow on Instagram love them. So I'm really excited to give this a try. This is supposed to be really good before a workout, like 10 minutes before. So I'll just drink it on the way to the gym. Or you can also have this in the morning as well, in addition to having it before the gym. So yeah, I'm just excited to like try out a new fun flavor. But I'm gonna head off and I will talk to you when I get back. actually the next day I got too tired <laughs> after the gym I had my protein waffles and I was gonna cook the rest of the meal prep but I was just too tired it was too late so we're getting right back to it this morning I have some chicken in the air fryer that's how I'm cooking the chicken so I do it at 360 for like 10 minutes take it out flip it do another 10 minutes not all of it fits in one go, so I do rounds, but this is what it looks like. It's been marinating now for like 12 hours, so I can imagine it's gonna taste really good. I didn't add any oil to it or anything since it is like pretty coated in the marinade that I made last night, so it should be good. Yeah, so I'm starting that in rounds. I have some water in a pot right here. I'm gonna add all the potatoes. Normally, I don't use little potatoes like this for mashed potatoes. I, normally, I use big gold potatoes, but I had these in my pantry, and I was like, I kind of wanna make like a rustic potato with the skin on and everything, so we're gonna see how this goes. Like I said, it's not my normal forte, so it could go wrong. I don't really know if all of these are gonna fit into this pot. So I like to make my mashed potatoes and just like if I was gonna make these crispy in the air fryer after, I make them the same way. I let the water be still so I don't boil it first. Then I put all the potatoes in here, add a little bit of salt to the water, and then I start to boil it. And then from there until they're like fork tender, you keep boiling them drain them and then we'll start to mash them and I'm gonna add some different things to it, you guys will see. You guys, my hand is so tired right now, but I just finished mashing these potatoes. So the secret ingredient that I used was Greek yogurt, and then I added a ton of minced garlic, 
a little bit of butter, maybe like a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon of butter. Not much, normally I add so much butter to my mashed potatoes and milk and heavy cream and sour cream, but I'm trying to be better. So I added a ton of Greek yogurt to it and I feel like it tastes really good. I've been trying it along the way just to make sure. The only thing is I wish I had a little bit of milk just that way it's not as thick, but it still tastes really good. And I seasoned it with some black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, and a little bit of salt. And it's perfect. So mashed potatoes are all done. The chicken is actually all done as well. This was the first round right here. Second round is all done right there. The last thing I have to do is green beans, which I'm gonna look up um, air fried green beans because people were saying in my last video that they really like their green beans air fried. So I'm gonna look that up and see how I can go about doing that because I feel like that would be really good. Plus I just love using the air fryer because you just pop it in there. You don't have to like look at it or anything. It does the work for you. All right, so upon further research, all I have to do is drizzle these green beans with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and then add them into the air fryer at 375 for how many minutes? She says eight minutes and then she says keep going in two minute increments after that until they get to the way you like them, so that sounds easy enough. I'm gonna have to do this definitely in sections as well since I have a lot of green beans and making a lot of meals. So yeah, I added the olive oil. I never know where anything is in here. I'm gonna add a ton of garlic powder. Y'all, I go through way too much garlic powder. I know that, but I like things garlicky. And then we'll do black pepper which takes forever to come out. Tons of black pepper. Okay. And then lastly, some sea salt. Now, now let's attempt to, oh, yep, I knew this was gonna be messy. Mix this. Best that I can. Bowl is too small for the overcrowding of green beans. I think I'm gonna add a sauce to my chicken as well, just cause I want it to be like extra flavorful. I'm just gonna use honey, sriracha, soy sauce, and garlic. Green beans are pretty well mixed if I need to. I'll add more seasonings to the ones on the bottom. I'm gonna add them in the air fryer at 375 for like 10 minutes. Okay, sorry about the air fry noise, but it is sauce time, so I'm gonna add a ton of sriracha, that's the first step. I feel like I need to make a lot of sauce. I want it to be kind of spicy to like balance with the potatoes, so tons of sriracha. Then I'm gonna do some soy sauce. I've been loving soy sauce recently. I'm gonna do some garlic. I need to start using fresh garlic more, but I like this minced garlic in a jar because it's easy. I'm gonna mix all of this together. Now that that's all mixed, it's super spicy. We're gonna add a ton of honey. I wanted to mix it first before we get the honey in there because it'll get kind of sticky. Now that we have the sauce all mixed as well as I can, I'm gonna pour it over the chicken. I made like the perfect amount. Mix everything together. Make sure it's all coated. I'm so happy I decided to add a little bit more sauce to it. Okay, and just like that, the chicken is all done. I'm gonna move it over to the other counter with the mashed potatoes, just waiting on the green beans, and then we are done.
officially done with the second meal prep. I definitely overmade on the food. I'm out of containers. Normally I would just add more to more containers, but I'm out of them. I don't know where the last couple of the ones that I had went. So normally what I do when I make too much is I just put everything that's extra into a big container and I give it to a friend or a family member because I don't want any of it to go to waste, but I just won't be able to eat all of it before it goes bad. So I'm gonna do that, but the meal prep is done. There's a lot of potatoes. I feel like I put a lot of potatoes in each of them, but that's okay. This is like literally probably my favorite meal prep I've ever made. The air fried green beans, game changer. Game changer, literally just add olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder if you want. They are so good and so easy. They only take 10 minutes, like I'm obsessed. And then the chicken, delicious, mashed potatoes, delicious. I just know I'm gonna be making variations of this meal over and over again. Like this with steak would be so good too. I feel like this video has two really, really, really good meal preps in it. Like you guys need to make these. If you meal prep yourself and you get tired of your meals, try these out because I am obsessed. I don't know why whenever I film my meal preps, it like makes the camera kind of like pink tinted. Do you guys see that? But I'm going to go. I just made myself a coffee. I'm gonna sit down on my computer for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this meal prep video. I feel like today's was really, really good. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. I have a bunch of other meal prep videos that I'll leave in a playlist down below. Thank you so much again to Bill Bar for sponsoring it today's video. Definitely make sure to go check out the link for them in the description box. And yeah, I think that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you again very soon with my next one. Bye!